This presentation is all about VOIP. Through this, you will be able to learn how VOIP works, its advantages, and the typical VOIP setup. VOIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. It is also referred to as IP telephony, internet telephony, broadband telephony, broadband phone, or voice over broadband. VOIP is simply the way of using a computer to make a voice call over the internet. IP telephony uses a broadband internet connection and IP phones transmit conversation as they come out. VOIP is a method for taking analog audio signals, like the kind you hear when you talk on the phone, and turning them into digital signals that can be transmitted over the internet. The interesting part about VOIP is that there are various ways to place a call. There are three different flavors of VOIP service in common use today. Analog Telephone Adapter The simplest and most common way is through the use of a device called an ATA. The ATA allows you to connect a standard phone to your computer or your internet connection for use with VOIP. The ATA is an analog to digital converter. It takes the analog signal from your traditional phone and converts it into digital data for transmission over the internet. Computer to computer. This is certainly the easiest way to use VOIPs. You don't even have to pay for long distance call. All you need is the software, a microphone, speaker, a sound card, and an internet connection. Except for your normal monthly ISP fee, there is usually no charge for computer-to-computer -computer calls, no matter what the distance. Also, this is the free VOIP service and the one most people will come into contact with and use first. Heard Skype? Yes. Thought so? This is the technology Skype uses. It's actually been around since the invention of the internet. But Skype's popularity is bringing it to the masses with a huge amount of media interest. IP phones. These specialized phones look just like normal phones with a handset, cradle, and buttons. But instead of having the standard RJ11 phone connectors, IP phones have an RJ45 Ethernet connector. IP phones connect directly to your router and have all the hardware and software necessary right on board to handle the IP call. VOIP sends your phone call across the internet. Your call goes through your modem. Your VOIP phone adapter splits your high-speed broadband internet connection. Your internet connection should work as it did before you installed the VOIP phone adapter, sending emails and other web data to your personal computer. Your phone calls are sent through your VOIP phone adapter to your regular or cordless phone. With a computer-to-computer -computer telephony, both the call and the receiver need to be using the same VOIP service. You will typically need a headset or USB phone, and you're away. Using this service is free, and you can phone anyone in the world using the same VOIP service application. Computer to phone setup. Computer to phone connection is popular among those who make a lot of international calls. The difference to a normal international landline telephone call is that the per minute charge is usually in pennies rather than 10 of pennies or more. The pros of computer-to-phone setup is the cheap calls to any landline phone in the world and it is easy to set up. The cons? You still need your computer and VOIP software to use this service. Generally, you can't make emergency services calls. First, voice is converted by an ATA from an analog signal to a digital signal. It is then sent over the internet to a location that will be close to the destination. 
then it will be converted back to an analog signal for the remaining distance over the traditional circuit switch. Your call can be received by traditional telephones worldwide as well as other VOIP users. VOIP codecs. A codec, which stands for Coder Decoder, converts an audio signal into compressed digital form for transmission and then back into an uncompressed audio signal for reply. It's the essence of VOIP. Codecs accomplish the conversion by sampling the audio signal several thousand times per second. For instance, a G.711 codec samples the audio at 64,000 times a second. It converts each tiny sample into digitized data and compresses it for transmission. When the 64,000 samples are reassembled, the pieces of audio missing between each sample are so small that to the human ear, it sounds like one continuous second of audio signal. VOIP Gateway A gateway is placed between the voice codec and the digital data transport circuit. Media gateways are part of the physical transport layer. They are regulated by a call control function housed in a media gateway controller. A media gateway with its associated gateway controller is necessary for the network transformation to packet side voice. What are the benefits of VOIP? Significant savings on calling costs, enhanced productivity, mobility, remote management, and more powerful traditional phone features. The biggest advantage with VOIP is that you can make and receive calls anywhere and anytime for less money. You have significant savings when you use your broadband internet connection rather than using a traditional phone line. You can call anywhere in the world and what's more exciting is that you'll be able to make use of VOIP phone features such as call waiting, call forwarding, caller ID with name, voicemail, three-way calling, and a lot more. One more thing, using VOIP phone services that does not affect your computer usage. This means that you can continue to send emails, surf the net, and do your usual stuff with no problem. Drawbacks of VOIP A drawback to VOIP is the call quality is dependent on the quality of your high-speed internet connection. So if your internet connection goes down or is slow, your call quality could suffer. This does not occur for most people, but it can. The solution is to test the speed of your internet connection beforehand by using a speed tester. 